In this tutorial, we'll uh, build tabs into uh, or tables in um, in a Qt window. So a table like you would have seen in Excel or some program like that. Um, so first thing you have to do is to import the required modules. It's this line that you will need, so from Qt widgets contains a table widget and and uh, items. So then this is just a basic win, right? As you've seen in the previous tutorial, uh, we launch this, you just see an empty window. And even, I want to modify the table, table here, uh, title here. And we can add uh, a table with just a few uh, lines. So, let's say table. We'll add the widget, the table widget. It's the one we just imported here from QC widgets. And set the row count to four, and table also has columns. So let's set those. So this is a very basic. Uh, basic thing right and we probably this is going to be a very long code so we want to create a function for that let's call it create table okay so we create our table widgets which has rows and columns and And we also need to set that, right? So we created the table, but it's not appearing yet. Let's go to layout and add it to the layout. And finally, we need to set the layout. Defined. If we launch this, let's see what happens. I don't see anything yet, but the code is running. So we may want to add some items and to set the position as well. Let's it. As you can do it with the function set item. And we set some value to it. But nothing yet. Um, so in this case, it's a few widgets that can contain that uh, table. So there we go. We got a uh, we got a screen with one cell and a, and a table. So you can go on and set all of these uh, these cells, you know, and with whatever contents you want to set in that. So I set that to that, and if we run it, see that the first column is now copy, and this is basically how you can create a table in a, in a queue widget. And of course, you can go on and define all the uh, cells you want there you go and you can also make like the table bigger if you want uh, simply set the column count larger row count you set it to 10 by 10 it really depends on your application so now you've got like a bigger table and you can also um, you probably want to interact with it when you have the data and so you can connect the the, the clicks with a function so using this line so we got our widget name here with double click connect and this will call the function on click um, just add these lines I can get a little bit bigger for you. 
uh, these lines and this function will be called and you'll see like the, the row and the column as well as the text if we run this press something double click you see that we press 3 1 uh, it really depends on, on what you're pressing so the same text is appearing here so basically we connected the table widget using uh, double click with the unclicked function and this is the unclicked function that does this action.